In this video, I got a brand new Lenovo 330S Idea Pad, brand new out of the box. It's got an Intel 8th Gen Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of DDR4 memory, and 16 gigabytes Intel Optane memory or cache. So we're going to upgrade the hard drive, take out the mechanical drive, replace it with a solid state drive. So I always want to make sure that the service you're doing this on doesn't have anything that could potentially scratch the back side because we have to flip it upside down. So in this case, I keep these clean every day. And <clears throat> as far as static, just be careful. I'm grounded where I'm sitting. Plus, this bench top gets sprayed with anti-static spray on a regular basis. So we're going to remove 10 screws from this. They're all the same length, so we don't have to worry about getting them mixed up or anything. So I'm, in this case, I'm going to use a number zero Phillips screw driver. There's always one that doesn't want to come. All right, so. Now opening this thing up, always be conscious of the screen. You don't want to be pressing down real hard on it, applying a lot of pressure. So in this particular model, right along the edge right here, right there, that little fine area right there, we have to separate the bottom chassis from the keyboard and the top. Just gotta be very, very careful. I don't recommend using a, a metal tool like this because you could easily scratch or booger up the chassis. In this case, what I like to do because I have a fingernail that works really, really good for this. So I'm going to take my fingernail, apply a little pressure on one corner, and then just gently slide along there. You can also use like a little spudger tool, something like this. But I've just done these before, and I like to do it so I get a better feel. I'm just kind of go along the edge here. Don't just grab it and rip it off, because you could break the chassis. Be gentle. These come off fairly easy. And that's it. We're gonna flip this around, and here's the hard drive that we're gonna take out. This Western Digital hard drive they have in there. So for that, we got four screws we have to take out. Right down here. Be careful with these speakers, you don't poke a hole in those. On either side, they got little speakers. You don't want to be sticking a tool in there and poke to the speaker because then that'll ruin your day. All right, you're being difficult. There we go. So we had four screws. We had one here, one here, one right down here, and one right down here. Don't get them mixed up because the four screws are different. Two, two the same here and two the same here. So now we're going to slide the hard drive back carefully to release it and just gently lift it out of there. And we're going to take the hard drive cradle away from the hard drive here. Just got four screws, two on each side. You have to take out, no big deal. Put those back in by hand. So there, now we're just gonna take the hard drive, the mechanical drive out of there. We're gonna make an external hard drive with that or something. Here's our brand new solid state drive we're gonna put in. Oops. 
We're going to put that back in the same way the other one came out. Lay it right in there. Retest the four screws. These screws are a little tricky. You got little rubber bumpers on them. Ah, you dirty dog. Start with this one. those in there good we don't need those I'm just gonna put these four screws or these other two screws in here kind of hard to mess this part up it just kind of goes in one way. Now this is a brand new laptop I just took out of the box. It's never been powered on. Of course, before you start any of this, always make sure your laptop or computer is completely powered off. So now we got the hard drive mounted in the holder. So we're going to put that back in there. We're going to slide it back in exactly the way we took it out. If you can see but on these two mounting holes here they slide underneath the this metal cover right here you got to make sure it goes underneath not on top put these two longer screws right back in here these don't always line up very well don't over tighten them Always being careful not to disrupt things in here. A lot of little tiny little wires in there you don't want to break or pinch. <clears throat> All right, we got that model in there good. Everything, everything looks good. We're going to take our bottom cover, gently lay it right back on there, and just take it and gently snap it back into place. Don't force it. Make sure everything's down good. Put it back around, and we're going to put our screws back in, all ten of them. Again, the models like this, I prefer to do the screws by hand instead of the oops, power, power driver there. Come here, you little bugger. Don't lose the screws. I like the snap-on tools, they work good. Alright, just double check, make sure we got all the screws in there, which we do. Put it back over. Take our power cord here. Plug in our power cord, and then we're going to begin the install of our Windows 10. From our flash drive we made from the Media Creation Tool.